Hi guys, in this video we will see the method of equals in Autocad. The question could be something like this. What are the object of equals in the following figure? And the figure is given as I's and So in this, if you want to draw uh, the Autocad, before going to the Autocad, what you should do is that you should know what is the top view, what is the front view, what is the side view of the first That is nothing but if you see something like this. Here, if there is an image like this, and you are looking from this side, Whatever this thing is visible to us, there uh, are like straight lines. What are the faces visible to us? This face is visible, this face is visible, as well as this face is visible. So those faces will be shown like rectangles. Then the angles are the semicircles or the circular shapes or holes or whatever those are there, those should be shown. As well as if there is any hidden objects, those things should be shown with dotted lines. And, and if there is anything visible like an edge that should be taken as a solid this way should so if you want to draw something like a front view for this object what you have to do you have to see from this side and what are the places where the light falls in this way and if you are keeping a light source on this side on this side and you are seeing it where the light falls you have to see it. and those things should be highlighted in one color and remaining things you know if you are talking about top if you are seeing from this view, in that case, it is visible at which which point this thing is visible as well as this thing is visible. That's it. Except that nothing is visible. So those two things should be highlighted. So, so whenever you want to draw these orthographic uh, views, what you should do is that you should see the isometric view and you should understand from which side you are seeing it and what is the top view, what is the print view, what are visible to us, what are not visible to us, what are straight lines, what are hidden lines should be seen. And then we have to solve the problem the autocad. So if this is the question, and in this case, this will become the answer. As you can see, there is an axis line. This here, in the center of this thing, there is an axis line. Because of that, it is used in this line today. And from there, there is a 60 mm line, then it is 9 mm width, and it is closed back. And from 15 mm line, it is in 18 mm here, because it is there in the question here, 18 mm. And from there, up to this point, we don't know how much, but from here to here, it is 9 mm visible to us. So, these are the things which are visible to us. This is the print view and this is the top view. So, after drawing this, then we can go to the AutoCAD and we can finish, finish it as much as possible. So, here is the case. When you open the AutoCAD, as usual, we will go for, since it is like 2D diagram only, we will go for Z and A and F. Then we will check the units. It is in the millimeters. Then, after it is OK. Then, we will go to the limits. We will write the limits and press enter and press 0, 0 is the lower left corner, it is triangle, comma, and it is the upper right. Select a line. Select a line. Uh, keep ortho button on, ortho mode on, then draw a line of some 100 mm. Say. In this way, I have drawn it. After that, if you, we will start from the top view. So, select a line. From I am drawing the axis line. This is the axis line. That means since it is in ortho mode, it is some 30 m. After that, this side it is 60 m, and the above it is 9 m. And this side also we have 9 mm line, which is closed with this. So if you see in the figure, you'll understand. I have started from this point, and bottom I have come, then I have gone to this point, I have stopped at this point. After that, let me give offset of 15 mm in the left side. It is easy. So select a offset command. Then press 15 mm and select this axis line as this thing. And this side you can do. Join the this line also, you can join from here to here. You can join. As well as the above portion also can be joined like this. After that, from this point, we have an 18 mm line which is connected up to the end point, this one, uh, which is later on extended like this. This is this line can be extended up to this point. And this is finished. So these are other things which are visible to us in the view. You can see these are other things which are visible to us. Therefore, they are all done with solid straight lines. Whereas one a one problem one thing is that there is internal circle of 7.5 mm radius which is not visible. Therefore, it is given in hidden lines. So if you go to that, what you can do, you can give offset option and give the distance is 7.5 and press enter. Select this object. Select this object and this side 7.5 and again select this object and this side 7.5. Now one thing we will do, we will try to give the 
uh, line shapes also this is hidden lines so select that go to the properties tool for other load in the load you have dash line so you should select the dash line and press ok after pressing ok it will be visible to you here so you give select this and give some scaling factor i'm given it as 0 0.20 then press ok and check this line and select this line and now go to the uh, properties toolbar and uh, whatever the thing is added will be visible to you here here so select that which will give you this shape. after that select this line i want to add uh, this axis line that is load here you have dash and dot option that one i'll select it and press ok once it is added here for that i can give if i want i can give the scaling factor also here also i'm giving scaling factor then if i press ok it is added to the properties toolbar now select this straight line once this is selected then you click on it and give the uh, dot and dash lines this is the axis line is also given now this is the front view which is drawn now if you want to draw the drop view you need not start from the beginning you can simply draw the projector lines and we can add in easily so i'm drawing the projector lines for all these things this is your axis line this is your another end point this is another end point which is also needed this is another end point which is also needed if you want you can also draw these things also where this particular thing is actually a circle option not a straight line it is a circle so these are all the things which is there so one thing we can do is that we can directly uh, draw this all with uh, using this projector lens or you can draw all these things without the projector lens. It will take uh, some time for the not using the projector lens. So I am using projector lens. So I select some point randomly on this axis line and draw a circle 7.5 radius. So I will select circle option. So here I am selecting with, okay, I will change the by layer to color I'll change to by layer circle select some point here and I'll give 7.5 which is nothing but up to this point so it is drawn now also I'll take circle command and even 15 mm I can draw and remove unnecessary things that is this is not necessary this is not necessary and this is not necessary then take a line command from this object up to this line it is there that is nothing but 18 mm line is there and up to this one is 30 mm line, so 30 mm line. Then finish it with this. This is also done. Now, what is there still? Come to the view. Is there still? There is a box. There is a box which is totally 60 mm, and this is uh, how much it is totally 30 mm. So we can draw that box, or else we can select exactly how much amount it is there here. 18 plus 9 minus 60. In that way also you can go. Uh, or else we can draw by using the projector. So we'll go with the projector. So I'll select the line here. I'll draw from here to here. Then from here I have to come down 9. Enter. And here also I'll go up to this point. This way. Now select the line from here to here. Which is visible. These particular two lines are not visible. To you. This line is not visible. As well as this line is not visible. To you. So delete those two lines. In the same way we can go bottom also or else I can give mirror image that is I'll select this I'll select this and say give the mirror image with the center point and this is my mirror image in this way I'll get it now what else is there we have to join these two points like this this is also if you want you can trim unnecessary things which are there here these are all not necessary for me I'll remove them here also this is not necessary for me I'll remove them this is an axis line Thing I'll, I'll remove the I'll remove this one also. So what's if you want we'll run. So this is this. And uh, what else is there? Did we miss anything in the question? Let us see. Yeah, center line is there with 7 mm offset. So we have to finish that one also. So we'll come, we'll try a straight line. From here to here, I am drawing a straight line that is from midpoint to the midpoint. So select the straight line. Select R else we'll do one thing. We'll trim this, select this, and select this, and use offset command. Offset command with how much it is seven total seven now. I have drawn a center line in between now. So offset command is used and 
that side it will be 3.5 this side it will be 3.5 so I will select 3.5 as my offset distance and I will select this object and either of the sides I will give the 3.3 now this is not necessary for me I can delete it and this is not connected in between so I can trim this up this is not connected in between so I can trim this up also these things also can be removed so that your image will not be uh, occupied with the projector lines itself so this is also one kind of let, let us see if there is anything to be added everything is finished in the top now if you want to front view uh, side view what we can do is that we can uh, draw the left side view like this I have extended the xy line I will draw a straight line which is like this from here to here this is perpendicular to the xy line now select the projector lines select the projector lines from both the sides either of the sides or else before that what you do is that you draw a straight line like this and select this straight line and rotate it with this base point with minus 45 degrees like this now I draw the straight lines from these projectors to this one like this draw straight lines every time draw straight lines here also uh, even this circle is also important to us so there will draw straight lines this uh, uh, even this point is necessary for so draw the straight lines and see this one is also important to us so I'm drawing this here the circle end point is required so from here to here also this end point I'm drawing straight lines even if you observe carefully this edge points are also visible from the side view so I will draw these straight lines also this one is also is important so this one is also important now whatever the extended things are there you can trim them I'm trimming the unnecessary extended things which are there here I'm trimming them. now draw straight lines from these points draw straight lines from these points up to like this way you can so select lines and all these straight lines you give, give the straight lines. So what we are doing simply we are projecting the lines, nothing else we are doing is simply projecting the lines. With the help of this projector lens, you can get the side view even without using any dimensions. Simply by using the projector lens, we can get the object or the side view. Now what I am drawing is left side view because uh, the simple logic is that if you are drawing right side of the figure it is called as left side view. If you are drawing left side of the figure it is right side view. So that is simple logic. Similarly we will draw the projector lines from this side. So from this side to this point. And from here up to this point. From here it is up to this point. So whatever the unnecessary things are there I can turn off. So these things are not and now use line command by using by, by using by layer I mean. uh, outermost points are all visible lines therefore outermost lines will be straight line so select this point from this point to this one and from here to here from here to here and from here to here everything is visible lines. after that which is not visible which is visible you have to know and for them we will give the hidden lines and for them for what are uh, required, we will give the hidden lines. For whatever it is not required, we will not give the hidden lines. So, for example, this internal dimension is there. That is, circle is there. The, the hole is there. It is not visible. Those things should be definitely hidden lines. That is, this line as well as the end lines. This line and this line. These both should not be visible to us. Therefore, those two lines, whatever these two lines are there, whatever these two lines are there, we can uh, about these two lines are there. These two lines can be given hidden lines directly because those two are not visible even from both the sides. So these two are not visible. Even if you are looking from both the sides, either left side view or right side view, it is not visible. Uh, remaining other things which are visible to you, you give them. If not, you know. But if you see, it is still clumsy. What I can do is that I can select all the important points which are there. That is this top view, front view and side view and for these all I can give dimensions for this all I can give some separate color I can give some line weight to it something like I am giving some 50 line weight for the line weight to be displayed here we will press the line weight display in this way I can 
So what are all visible to you? You show them. What are all not visible to you? You don't show them. So this line is visible to us. This line is visible to us. That one is also can be shown here. The above line is not visible to us because it is a projector. This is a projector. So it is not. So in that way, you can give the options perfectly and you can uh, give the directions for these things by using the annotations, address annotations, and you can go to the green here. You can give the directions of this. This is dynamic, this is going to the side. As well as we can give the directions here, something like uh, the angle, uh, we can use the radius dimensions. So this radius dimension is not going to find. And radius dimension of this one is some. No, we have. I think we have given diameter. So this diameter, diameter dimension. Well, this is much 30 mm. These are all the things which are visible in one one side. So those sides will select it. Will give diameter. And if you want, you can give the names also. Color coding is useful to you, like because these are local color lines. Everything is color lines, and uh, red color lines is everything you have visible. Lines. Since it is given, it is given. Uh, some line weight, it is not looking like a dashed line or dark dashed line, but it is basically a dashed line. So, this is how you draw the autocad. Before drawing in the autocad itself, you should be able to know the answer. How do you get the answer of it? We are assuming that we are giving a, we are drawing, uh, catching a torch light from this side and see where the light falls when you are keeping it 90 degrees. So, those things should be drawn before having set. And whatever the internal parts are there, those things are all taken as uh, hidden lines. And that is how you do it. 